Where's my chest? There it is. Found you. So it looks like I'm in, what is this, a, a Tega biome? Right? Isn't that what it's called? How do you... Hmm. I don't remember how you do a lot of these things, but I got some food. Uh, let me go ahead and pick this up. Grab these torches. Oh. Weird. Water underneath us. That's good, I guess. Um, hmm. I'm not really sure what I'm looking at. I might have to turn off the uh, auto jump. I'm just, I played this a little bit on my, uh, my Nintendo Switch when I had it. I just kind of want to get up and see if I can, you know, see anything. And one of those, I saw actually B00 put out a survey thing today on Twitter, and it was like, you know, when you start a new world, do you just kind of take whatever is given to you, or do you kind of look around, and try to see if there's a better area you could go in? And I think I've always wanted a good start area, so I, um, I always, you know, sometimes I'll just jump into creative even, and, um, Get some wood already, that's good. Jump into creative and see. Doo -doo -doo. Um, what am I trying to say? Oh, jump into creative and just fly around a little bit. See if there's a better a better home base, if you will. But I wanna try and do all survival for this playthrough or whatever we're doing here. Well, that didn't help me at all. I have no idea what's over there, but um, it scares me a little. I'm going to actually just head off that way, I think. It scares me a little. Um, gosh, that auto jump is going to get me killed. Uh, scares me a little bit uh, starting off in this type of biome because with all these trees... You, you know, you obviously have a means for um, stuff to spawn, even in the daytime, which is a little scary. Or not spawn in the daytime, but you know how it works. Like, still be hanging out in the daytime after night. Night turns to day. Cool. There's a lot of new stuff in the game, so I hear. If I'm even running the right... Uh, updated version okay give me a little bit of that uh, I like this mountain over here whatever this is hill whatever you want to call it that is scary let's go up and around shall we yeah so um I don't, I don't know how much... Ooh, there's a fox. Cool. I don't know how much you all know about me, per se, but um, I am a dad of Lena Pugh. Uh, she's about a year and a half old now. Uh, my wife, Maria. Uh, we all live together, one big happy family, with our dog, Buddy. He is a Aussie doodle. He's two now, I think. Sounds about right. I'm also looking for sheep. I uh, need a bed at some point soon. All I'm seeing are pigs and chickens. I'm very interested to explore all the new mines and everything. Maybe if I can get up here, I can see a little bit. But yeah, one big happy family. Here in Virginia is where we live. Um, I currently am the um, head of marketing at a company called Agenicare, but cat is out of the bag. I have a, um, there's a bee. I have taken a new position with a company called Leisure Media here in town. So I actually officially start there March 1, and I'm very, very excited to get into that learning. Man, I don't know how I feel about where I am. Um, I see no sheep. 
which is ideal to see a sheep. I also need to probably get some cobblestone tools here soon. Take a little fall damage. Um, yeah, so I'm currently on my lunch break. You know what? Let me go ahead and just... All right, let's go like this. My skin, it's funny. Um, I need, burp, 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 burp. grab this and we're good, great. Let me go ahead and pick this up. Again, I'm playing on a, a um, MacBook Air, so I'm using the trackpad. <laughs> as my mouse. Uh, if I really dive into Minecraft again and get excited about it again, I will for sure um, just grab a mouse. I mean, as long as as long as long it's running and it's not terrible, um, I'm happy using, you know, whatever kind of tools I have. New recipes unlocked. I think this was an emerald. Is this an emerald? Uh-oh. That's what I thought. Sorry for everyone watching, uh, I'm a noob. Not really, but I haven't played Minecraft in probably, hmm. Wow, when, besides like on the Switch. I played a little bit with my friend, so I guess that counts, but there's some copper. Iron, jeez. Copper, there's copper in the game now though, right? Like I, I really, know nothing about the game as it as it stands <laughs> so uh that's that'll be fun learning all the new ins and outs there's some cows maybe we're headed in the right direction here i actually kind of like this valley i don't like how um just it's all stone but ooh, man i really need some sheep can we find some sheep I do remember, I do need to remember to come back here. I need to eat as well. Because there's a lot of cool stuff in this area. Man, what's a guy gotta do to find a sheep around here? I should probably actually change my render distance. Ugh. It's a cool area. I'll admit, it's not my favorite, but, I mean, we're, we're very far from spawn, so, hopefully, I mean, I don't have really anything crazy cool at this point in time, but, hopefully we find some sheep soon, there's an alpaca, are you able to, I don't think you can get wool from alpacas, can you? In fact, I don't think I've even played since alpacas were added. Could be wrong. But I enjoy you guys hopping along for the struggle bus here as I dive back in. Minecraft is and always will be my favorite game ever made. Um, even when I don't play it, <laughs> that is the truth for me. That's what I tell everyone. Should probably start stop sprinting everywhere. It's probably not helping me. Here's some regular looking trees. Ooh, this is cool. You know, I'm also as I'm exploring around here, I'm trying to think of what a good swamp. Great. Sometimes there's sheep in swamps, right? Did I just make that up? What I was trying to say was there's a sheep. Alright, let's and from what I heard on B Dubs's latest video, all your sheep have to be the same color in order to make a bed. So that is something I'll be keeping in mind. How many did I get? One. Perfect. <laughs> oh man. Lots of learning to do. So yeah, I accepted a job as um uh a digital media specialist, I think, is the position title. It's interesting. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of different things. Um, but 
I'm going to be learning all the ins and outs of media buying in the digital realm. Um, this company, Leisure, has been a print publisher for years and years and years, and they have been doing some programmatic, uh, there's some more sheep, that's what I'm talking about. I really actually like where we are right now. This looks really cool, surrounded by all these mountains. Nope. Don't. All right, we gotta do this quick. Ah, give me all those. Give me that. Give me that. Give me my bed, and we're sleeping. Hopefully, I'm not too late. We good? All right. I think this is actually really cool. I think we're technically in a swamp biome, so colors might not be the best. But that said, let me get some more. I'll go ahead and make an axe for myself. I will need to also make an oven at some point. Let me also get cleaned up a little bit here. Need torches, um, dirt for building, ch -ch -ch, raw iron, you get the smelt now, isn't that right? Um, yeah, so I'm learning all about um, digital media buying, uh, programmatic, this um, automatic way of buying up space for digital use on the intranet. Man, I really, really like this area. There's a lot I would need to protect myself from. But, like, can't you guys imagine just, like, a house right here? Like, how cool. I would be scared stuff would be falling from up there. So maybe it might be a better idea to build our first starter home up top here. Let's see. I do like the area. I really do. That looks cool over there as well. What kind of biome am I in? That's what I need to figure out. Let's see. Plenty of stone. What's over on this side? Let's check up. Take a look. Oh, getting some lag here. I hear skeletons. So that's not good. Okay forest over there. I, I don't remember what they're called. Let me let me grab my settings video. Right? Okay, cool. Lots of water over there. It's good to know. Kinda sorta. I used to really love when I would start Minecraft, I would love um, finding a mountain like that and building a house up there, which I think it would be cool if as we build in this area to build like maybe a, a beacon or something up there, you know, just a place that maybe we go into the side of the mountain here and then you sort of finagle your way up through the mountain and then you're up top. I think that would be really cool. Sorry about all the lag. I need to turn my render distance back down. But I, I, I like this. I think I think we should maybe make a little hidey hole maybe up here somewhere. Uh, we'll light all this up and then um, yeah, that'll be good. I think this is a really cool, interesting so this is sort of I guess part of that biome. It looks like a prairie maybe over there. I don't have Optifine on or anything. More, ooh, is that dark oak over there? I can't tell. But anyway, I like this. I think this is super cool. I think there are literally one, two, three biomes right here. Maybe even one, two, three, four. Do you see that? The, the change in grass, you've got this lighter, darker swamp, 
sort of regular and then brownish, like desert almost. Sahara. Yeah, look at that. So, yeah, this is where we're going to start. Um, I'm kind of like B-dubs. I think that's why I like them a lot. I like building. It's like my thing. You know, some people like adventuring. Adventuring's fun, especially with the new way they're sort of building out the worlds um, in Minecraft. But I, um, actually, you know what? Let's see. Let's get down here. Ouch. I think... Hmm. I'm trying to figure out the best place. I was thinking of maybe going over there and just going into the side, but I, don't, I think that's kind of ugly. I think I'm going to go over this way. Um, I need to make my little hidey hole, and I need to um, kind of get started on smelting and getting... I mean, there's plenty of food around. You know, we can make a little farm. I mean, that's perfect, isn't it? Maybe I start there. I was looking more over here, but there is, in fact, a nice cave, ravine kind of thing. Man, I love this. Yeah, let's go right here. Might not be smart with that overhang, but as long as I light that up, um, I can probably build some sort of fence or something. Wrong tool. There we go. We're just gonna go straight back. As they say. So I, I like building. That's my favorite part of Minecraft. I probably have spent more time in creative mode than survival mode. Just because um I just I, I like building. You know, creative. You have all the tools at your disposal, all the different blocks. Um this is going to be kind of temporary. I have no plans, uh, which you don't want to hear as someone who's considering subscribing. This is not what I was hoping for. Um, but it's still kind of cool. In fact, let's kind of uh, let's just be a little window. <laughs> Maybe we can kind of just build out our little... Yeah, that's fun. We'll build out our first starter home, if you will, on the edge of this little cavern. And I'm even thinking maybe we go down one. So, um, interesting start to the episode, to the series maybe even. If, if, this, if you've enjoyed hearing me talk and play Minecraft, um, let me know. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this, and um, I'd be happy to play this game. Um, love this game. Oh, hey, bud. Do not fall down, please. Yeah, definitely need to turn auto jump off because I am definitely going to jump right over that little wall I just made at some point. All right. Do a little bit more, and then we'll go ahead and just start kind of putting down temporary bed and crafting bench. Maybe we can get some doors made for the front. Uh, we'll go bed. Why not? Do a torch right above the bed. Throw one. There's one there, too. Maybe just right there. All right. We'll get our sort of permanent crafting bench down. We do have a chest, which is nice. Um, and then I need to make our... Ooh, this music, though. Yikes. Go ahead and make a furnace. I don't really want to put it next to the bed. Maybe we'll go right into the wall. Yeah. Great. We've got two furnaces, because I was dumb, and I did all of my stone, or whatever it's called. Cobblestone. But that's all right. Throw that in there. We'll get some iron going. Uh, down here, we'll take half. We'll get some food going. Iron ingot. I didn't even know that they had changed the raw iron, so 
that shows you how much I know Minecraft right now. But I can get some better tools. Um, yeah, I like this. I don't know about, I don't really like floating blocks like that. I might have to take that down, but. Um, sheep, cows, everything a guy could need. So. I'm gonna get some doors on this place really quick if I even have the wood. I do. How do you make a door? <laughs> Let, let's cheat. Let's cheaty cheat. Um. Hmm. Where doth thou find? There we go. Oh yeah, it gives you three, right? Do I get all this back? I do. Alright. Nighttime's coming again. That's not where I wanted to put that. I wanted it in a little bit. Need to make some more torches as well. There we go. We are safe and sound. At least, kinda, sorta. So... Yeah, I like that. That's cool. All right, um, that's gonna do it for the episode. I I, uh, I spent most of this lunch break trying to um, get the recording stuff set up. So we'll go get some pants. Might as well. I want to armor myself a little bit. Probably will need a new pickaxe. Which we can go ahead and do that. Give me a pickaxe. There we go. Man, that's nice and cheaty. Uh, let's do this. Go ahead and throw these on me. I'll get a little bit of safety protection. And then we only have two left, um, but there is more smoking. No, there's not. All right, well, that's going to do it. Let's go ahead and sleep so we can set our new spawn point here in our starting area um next episode probably resource gathering maybe even trying to rope them in just so we can start a farm maybe i'll make the farm kind of over there away from my hidey hole so i don't hear them making noise all the time but i appreciate you for watching uh if you did enjoy this um this is what it's going to be like we're just going to relax uh I'll probably tell stories um about my life and everything i've got so many different outlets for content, podcasts, other YouTube channels, blog posts, website. I just like creating content. And thanks to BWO, I got the Minecraft itch again. It's been too long. But um, you guys rock. I appreciate you. And I will see you next episode. Oh, whoa.